Hey there, I thought I'd uh, give you a quick update on what's going on here uh, in terms of gameplay and some of the series uh, topics that I've been writing about over the past six, eight months. And before I get started, I'm going to turn the air conditioner off. So, where were we? Uh, we haven't even got started, I'm lost already. So, <clears throat> a couple of big things, a couple of themes that I've been working on. One has been this chronological walkthrough of World War II, and the other has been Napoleonic uh, exploration of tactical systems, and then some si things called side by side series where we look at uh, two battles, uh, sorry, one battle with uh, two different topics. So, for instance, uh, a victory denied and Panzer Group Guderian would be a good example. Or uh, we take uh, two copies of the same game and get a bunch of guys together and play it and then, you know, compare notes and see what happened. Uh, I've done, been doing some play by poll stuff, which I have no plans to do any more of those in the immediate near future. Uh, and then uh, I've got a sort of modern uh, war games series going, which is looking at all the different titles I own in the modern war games category uh, and all these really all these you know themes uh, means or mechanisms or foils for me to just try and get through my games that i own <clears throat> i also have been doing you know uh, trying to find series of uh, groups of battles for uh, the ancient era as well so and lots of other little things going on so uh, to, to quick recap on the chronological stuff i was playing coral sea and I, I got a, a little tutorial from a buddy from Judd and uh, went through the rules and played a couple of turns and quite liked the game. Had some issues with some of the counters, the, the physical version of the game, and really found that Judd's Vassal module was far more functional and useful than the actual physical game, which is really kind of disappointing. Uh, but what I did was I packed that up and I'm going to try and play it uh, via Vassal at some point. That just hasn't happened yet, so we're kind of on a holding pattern uh, in 1942 for uh, our chronological walkthrough. I want to avoid the Eastern Front for a little while. Uh, I've got a little bit of burnout with the Eastern Front after playing Case Blue Gadarian's Blitzkrieg. So we're going to kind of move over to, uh, I guess, the Pacific Theater and see what we can do there, and uh, perhaps do a little exploration in the African Theater in 1942 as well, sort of uh, revisit our roots from when we looked at DAC. Uh, back DAC two back in the, back in the day about a year and a half ago or so, so that's kind of the chronological stuff. Uh, World War three. Uh, I'm actually getting ready to play GDW's World War three, Third World War, and uh, very excited about that. That's going to happen over the Vassal uh, system, and we'll uh, be doing that once a week. So it's going to take a while to get through that system, but I'm hoping that that will generate some cool gameplay. I've got a couple of lots of. Uh, I've got 30 odd games in the modern modern category. So uh, while I'm playing that once a week, we'll be looking at some other smaller titles, maybe some SBI stuff that we can pull out and play. Uh, by the way, if you own a copy of Hoff Gap or uh, any of the uh, Central Front series games, uh, and they don't, and they're not covered in um, you know plastic. Uh, all the counters and maps and stuff, and I covered in the latex sheeting, uh, kind, of, kind of polyurethane type of stuff. I think you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I'd love to buy a copy of those games without any uh, in encumbrances on the counters. <coughs> I think that'll change my view of that game significantly. Uh, um, so, in terms of uh, Vassal, I'm playing uh, The Mighty Endeavor 2 uh, with two different folks right now and enjoying that game immensely. Uh, more about that later. Obviously playing Carthage live with a, a new buddy Richard here in town in Austin. And uh, he is also playing, as you can see in the background there, uh, Reluctant Enemies with me. And we're uh, just about to start the second turn of that uh, next week. So that's going rather slow, but we'll, we're easing him into the OCS world. And in front of us you can see the the Talavera title from the Le Pate, uh series from Clash of Arms. And, you know, this game, I, I'm going to play some of this scenario and then I'm going to go and play uh, the uh, Napoleon battle system or brigade system from the gamers and use it to compare to this system and play a few turns of it. I've already played it a couple of other times, but I wanted to refresh my memory and see how the battles play out in a kind of side-by-side -side comparison. I'm still looking for the tactical system uh, 
for Napoleonics, and I really don't think it's what I'm looking for is there. This is this is very detailed, and I'm not sure that it's what I'm looking for. It's a, almost to the point it's a bit fiddly, but that's okay. Looking up three tables to fire one set of cannons is kind of kind of uh, hitting the limit for me. Now we've also got the chronological playing through of all the modern titles in the lock and load. Uh, Tactical system, which is going to be interesting. I'm looking forward to getting through those as well. We've been playing a lot of uh, Days of Heroes lately with a buddy of mine, and also the Vietnam titles with Peter Tack. Uh, we've been playing that. Uh, talked about Coral Sea. I'm just looking at my little list here. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Playing Carthage. I'm also playing Xenophon. It's an SBI title. I haven't written very much about it at all. I'm just trying to get through as much of the game as I can uh, on the Sun Tzu system uh, on the PC and uh, give you a feel for that title as well. It's kind of interesting. Uh, very big movement rates uh, and uh, combat becomes a function of movement. So it's an interesting little system. I'm not sure how historically valuable it is per se, but it's an interesting little game and we'll, we'll see what happens with that and, and how far we get with it. I'm playing the Supreme Commander as well via Vassal once a week. That game is superbly interesting right now. I'm not sure that I can actually play it with anybody else and teach anybody else because I've got a great coach and I really don't have to look at the rules very much. He's kind of guiding me through it and and leaving most of the... I've just got a little message pop up here. Let me get rid of that. And uh, most of the... So, I mean, I understand how to play the games, but I really i am focusing more on strategy than I am on the rule book, which is really nice because it's got a lot of little rules for different things. Um, just finished up The Last Days of the Grand Army, which is the uh, OSG title in the Days series. It's one of the earlier uh, editions of that series. A few nifty little custom rules for the, the, the Battle of Waterloo. I like that. Um, you really ended up, I think, pretty much as a draw, however. And uh, let's see what else is going on. That's about it, really. I, I do have a plan to play... Uh, this Hello Ground and the last um, last chance for victory, uh, the McPherson's Ridge scenarios, and put them up side by side and try and get some feel for the two systems there and see what's going on with that. Just I just have uh, I have a little bit of inertia with that game and also uh, with the Devil's Cauldron. I'm I'm, I'm facing inertia sitting setting that up. Got the map out. I just can't be bothered sort through all the punch counters trying to work out what goes where. Talk about lazy, right? So that's kind of a, a quick uh, dump on what's going on. Uh, I'm playing uh, the final gamble on Saturday morning. I'll have an update and a report on that next week at some point. And we'll just uh, keep rolling on and see what's happening. I'm going to do some great battles of history. I found a cool little three uh, battle uh, camp mini campaign in the Magna Graecia period where we'll look at uh, 344 BC and see uh, the very first Alexander uh, and, uh, as a Greek and see what he does um, in, uh, uh, with the Epirates and see what happens there. All right, so uh, we'll let you, uh, let you go and we'll talk to you soon. Ciao.